this is the current crypto market condition and i don't think there is any way to sugar coat this these patterns even though it's on a short term do highlight there are bears in the market and they are awake so this is bitcoin and this is the altcoin market so now if you take ether you'll see the similar pattern emerging where the price suggests you that it is making a rising wedge and usually we know this breaks to the downside so majority of the odds are that this can break lower so how low do you think we can actually drop from the current price action the best is like five percentage the worst is 10 percentage so you may actually see some volatility hitting the market now at the same time you do have to ask the question okay 65 percentage this may break lower but that 35 percentage should not be neglected welcome to the scientific investor family where the normal retail guys learn how to become the next top 10 percentage of this world so yes we do see this pattern in ether the entire altcoin market and even on bitcoin but this is the xrp chart where i'm like okay we are not actually observing something similar instead we are looking more like a symmetrical wedge so here you do get to see like okay that's a 50 50 percentage probability here to the upside or to the downside whereas here you get 65 percentage probability suggesting you we may go lower so we do have to see how many of these assets are going to go lower and at the same time you take a couple of steps back to understand okay if that happens if you are dropping what does that mean for most of the assets you look at because some of them are already below a key support some of them are already at that support so if your asset is above that support and has room to drop to that support it's good it's fine as soon as it drop to the support people do buy and it will go back up but if it is below this range that can be significantly negative this is a daily not a four hour so you can even step back on a three day looking at the macro scenario so here for the altcoins it is not bad you can actually see that the price is giving you a signal that it is trying to put in a double bottom at a time when the rsi suggests to you that it is trying to make a bullish divergence so it's not actually bad you can see the resistance here which is staying relevant and you are trying to go grind higher with a rising trend line as support which is good so the entire market on a three day does show you it is turning bullish and you can try connecting as much as dots as possible here and you're like okay we are trying to break higher so at that time even if we drop to the support and bounce that's okay it can be like one week of fluctuation remember this is early this month and this same month you're waiting for cpi release then the fed rate hike all of them are going to be macro things which will definitely move the market shake the market but keep in mind at this time this is what's happening for the entire ripple and xrp case right ripple has actually filed the brief now there are positive things you don't actually get to read everything because there is a lot of areas where it's been redacted but look at this xrp holders do not reasonably expect profits from their efforts because right now you can ask like okay they built a network where people and institutions can use it for a purpose to solve the real life issues great so right now when we talk about xrp it does show you how things are evolving and as you look at this say xrp crypto wolf actually sent me this one showing you know james tell thing that it is going to be in one ruling even though you know we had a lot of amicus being filed and from the side of SEC and Ripple filing, it's going to be still in one big ruling. We're going to get everything. Now, when is that? No one knows. But we do expect it to be coming sooner than later. Now, 
as we look through all of this, it does show you like, okay, there are some things which uh, you may have to consider. Say, for example, one of the area which now it is redacted for the majority of the part. But when you come down and look at it, say Junkling actually put this one out. If you are looking at this on that clarity, you would be looking at this and saying like, okay, the citations here at the bottom is actually directly going towards emails. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm like, okay, emails. So the SEC itself knows this theory is legally irrelevant. And that's what is coming here. So basically, there was something which is valid in that email, which is not visible for us for the time being. But when it actually comes out, we will see how things are evolving. And that can be the reason for one of this XRP and Cardano are uh, among a couple of assets which are right now going through an accumulation trend. So in that accumulation trend, what you will ask if you are, you know, like that guy who has a lot of doubts, questions, you will actually come lower here and you'll ask like, okay, this is XRP mm -hmm, and you are looking for like around last one year. Fine. So if you go look at Cardano in that accumulation range, what are you looking at? Are the bulls handling or is the bears who are right now in charge? So you are looking at last a year, but the trend line, if you draw this, it will for sure be to the downside, right? There is uh, no doubt in saying like this is trending to the downside. Fine. But Yes, the pattern does look like it is making a bullish reversal signal. That is actually okay. Usually we say rising wedge is bearish, but the falling wedge is bullish. So in this case, you will observe this one going back up. Now that's still within the pattern. If you break higher, that's a different story. But even at that time, when you compare these XRP is a little bit different. Look at these supports. It's actually trending higher when the other one in the accumulation is trending lower. So there is a huge difference between two communities. There is a difference between two assets, a big difference. And that's why you're observing this. It is trending against the market. It is slowly moving out from that couple status from Bitcoin. Because if you are looking at XRP, BTC pair, this is what we can see. Now, you can actually take this one out for the time being from the picture and look at this. This is your resistance. You have been respecting this resistance all the time. So first time you came in, you got rejected. Again, you got rejected. Then the third time you came in, you got rejected. You repeated that. And here, something changed. Instead of respecting that resistance and getting rejected, you broke that to the upside. Now, it's not only that you broke to the upside, you came back lower to retest that. And for the first time, you bounced. So if you are like me, you would say, okay, something actually changed. And it's not only that change is there, it's now trying to validate that change. So buyers took control over here. And now they are coming back to check where the sellers are still present with that trap. Now, look at the price. It came down. It hit the moving average, it's bouncing. With that bounce, you got the 200 day moving average as a resistance, yes, that's happening, but you do have these two moving average at the bottom acting as a support. So on the XRP BTC pair, it does not actually look so bad. Now you slowly zoom in to see like what's the short term possibility. Now, yes, it does look like there is a rounded bottom being formed, but you do have to keep in mind, this was like a long wick here. So we'll actually have to consider this previous close or just below that as your neckline because you also get the wick here. So you do have to say, okay, fine. If this rounded bottom is to be valid, we need to bounce close to this trend line. Now for that, to get where that trend line can go to, you can actually go into a daily chart because, you know, the volatility will go massive on short term chart. So you'll have to come lower like this and say, okay, there is still a possibility you may still drop a little bit further and still be inside this pattern. So on XRP BTC, as you zoom in, this is what you actually observe. Now, what's the key difference between this one and the other one, which we already saw, like the BTC market and all? 
Here you already had this narrative playing on where it was suggesting you, okay, the price is actually going for a rising wedge. It can be slow. It was slow for a long time. And then what happened? That broke to the upside, right? So you showed that it's not based in control of this asset. Bulls are still strong because this rarely happens, right? Now, after that, the price is slowing down and what is the pattern which you can observe in XRP BTC on a short term. Now this is significant and I'm taking the time on this one because on a short term when XRP is showing a symmetrical wedge here uh -huh, and the market is showing you that it is going for a rising wedge which is a bearish pattern XRP still holds bullish pattern which really is significant. So if you look at the higher time frame structure for XRP, say you're slowly going on to a 12 hour chart, then you can go on further towards a daily chart. Now you'll observe this is a rounded bottom. You are still inside that pattern. Right now you're close to the support. And that can be one of the critical reason why you are finding support because this is not that short term you are trying to accumulate this from like last two three months on a 12 hour chart even if you are on a daily chart you will observe the same right you can actually see like the price is being respecting and this is a pattern formation which is holding right now to validate that you can go here try connecting all these supports in the rsi and make a rounded bottom that kind of goes clearly for me. So I'm like, okay, somewhere here is your support and you are getting closer to that. So on a short term scenario, when everything else is showing you negative pressure on it, XRP is still suggesting you, I'm still holding, I still have buyers, I'm positive. Now, if the entire market drops, will XRP drop further? It can drop further, that's for sure. You have seen these wakes where then it come back into the trading range suddenly surprisingly and that can still happen right that is something we cannot actually neglect completely so on the medium term scenario you are still holding a sentiment which is not bad your trend line is rising your support is going up which is positive and on a macro scenario which is definitely most important scenario of all is still holding on to this structure which is a corrective pattern after your bullish move. So you are really expecting a continuation from this pattern. So all of these short term scenarios, which we observed here, if it can push the price outside this channel to the upside, not to the downside. Now that's actually something positive and positive for the next wave, because this is still standing here. We've been talking about this from some time and this did not get invalidated yet. And you're trying to bounce off from that. So historically speaking, if that happens, whether it's to the downside or to the upside, it does show you something just changed. And on the weekly RSI, it shows you something just changed here. Maybe in two months, three months time when we revisit this, we will talk about this. If you guys remember, we talked here. Now that was a painful day in the market, painful couple of weeks in the market. Go back, look at what we were talking about in March 2020. Even on that particular day when we were crashing, we gave the idea to the market that understand, yes, the market is dropping, pain is so much, but this is your trend line. You wick lower once, so most likely you are going to stay at respect that level. Now you'll see why that happened. And then again, you will come back here. Now that's the SEC and everything. Everyone was most likely saying, I know even, you know, the big guys who are, you know, XRP guys. We're saying, okay, I don't think XRP is going to join this bull run. Remember, now this is the date and time, right? You can go back to that week, that time and check all these guys and listen to who we're suggesting you, okay, this is still a support. There is a huge possibility it's reacting to the news, but it can still come back up. Now, it is also a fact that we took some profit here. In the Patreon, we are actually going through that. We are right now trying to analyze a lot of different assets. And as we were doing this Ask for TA from last two days, we understood some of these assets are turning bullish. That's great. Some of these assets are breaking higher, which is great. But some of them does show a lot of concerns. 
right? It's breaking down. And if this pattern emerges and this plays out in the market to the downside, those assets would be slow for maybe next three weeks towards next two months. So if you are looking for that kind of updates, you can look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. So guys, again, if you are in the market, be cautious. Don't go leveraged. Even though this is your support, you can do these crazy things. The market can show you this saying, I'm kicking you out and then I'm going back up. You don't want that to happen to your portfolio. You want to take profit at the right time. So guys, if you receive value for your time, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have another three to five minutes, please do visit this channel of mine. And if you like the content there, please do hit that like and subscribe button. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.